What's up everyone? It's that math magician and on this video we're taking a look at systems of equations and we're gonna see can we use the elimination method to find the point of intersection for two linear equations. So let's jump right into this equation where I have two equations. We have 2x minus y equals negative 2 and then we have negative 2x plus 3y equals 10. And again, we're trying to find out where do those two lines intersect. For this, we want to use the elimination method. And here's why I want to use the elimination method. Look at our x variables and more importantly, the coefficients of those x variables. One is a positive 2. The other is a negative 2. If we think about taking those two equations and smushing them together, combining them to make one equation, those two variables would drop out. They would get eliminated because one is positive 2, one is negative 2, a positive and a negative. Those zero out. That's what we want for the elimination method. So let's do that. I'm going to put a big plus sign on the left-hand side, a big equal bar, and we are going to combine these two equations to make one equation. Now, 2x plus negative 2x, those are going to zero out. Technically, we could write 0x, but we don't really need to because those zero out. We're then left with negative y plus 3y. Well, that's negative 1 plus 3, so that would give us 2y's. And now we have negative 2 plus 10. That will give us a value of positive 8. So look what we just did. We took two equations and we combined them into one using the elimination method because... This is the big part of this. The x variable drops out. Our goal is to solve for x or solve for y. I can't do that if I have two variables in one equation. Since they both dropped out, we can now solve this. And this is a one-step equation. I want y by itself. I want to get rid of that coefficient that's a 2. So we will divide both sides by 2. We end up with y equaling positive 4. Now, don't freak out, though. We're not done just yet. We solve for y, we now have to solve for x. We're always solving for two pieces, x and y. So I take one of those equations, and I always tell my students to pick the easier equation. And I think that's the top equation. So I'm going to take that top equation, but this time, instead of writing my y variable, I'm going to substitute in what I know that y equals, right? We just solved for that. And we know that y equals positive 4. So I'm going to drop in that positive 4 into one of the equations. Now, it doesn't matter. I chose the top one. You could have chose the bottom one. But I need to now use this equation to help me solve for x. So we have 2x. It's just a minus 4. Nothing really special is happening there. I'm going to go ahead and add 4 to both sides. Doing that, we'll end up with 2x equaling, well, let's see, negative 2 plus 4 will be a positive 2. Last step is to divide both sides by, whoops, I did a double fraction there. Divide both sides by that positive 2, our coefficient, and we end up with x equaling positive 1. So don't forget, when you solve for one variable, you got to solve for the other variable. We have our x is 1, our y is 4. The very last step is to write that as an ordered pair, 1, 4. Remember, it goes x, y, and there it is. That's how you use the elimination method, by combining the two equations into one, eliminating a variable, right? That's the whole goal. Eliminate a variable, solve for one, plug it into the other one, solve for the last one. All right, y'all, you got this. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.